Christian Mouex in the heart of the Jean-Pierre Mouex offices in Libourne in the tasting room. Uh, we would like to know a little bit about the uh, vintage 2010 we, which we just have tasted. Well, Bordeaux is very lucky. We have uh, one more very good vintage, maybe great vintage. You know, we had 08, a very classic wine, 09, a beautiful, charming wine. And then all of a sudden, we were not expecting it, 010, which is powerful, structured, very dark in color, as you can see. Uh, one more beautiful vintage, rather different in style from the two previous vintages. And I could describe it for you if you wish. Yes, please. What are the big differences between the uh, 09 and the 010? Well, let's speak of the weather. In 09, we had a beautiful summer um, and there was some rain in the middle of the summer by mid-August. And that little amount of rain uh, made the wines a little softer, a little more friendly, uh, because the berries were bigger due to the rain, you see, and then beautiful weather during harvest. So I will describe uh, 09 as a delicious wine. A very fruity, very friendly, very easy to approach and probably early drinking. I've been drinking some more nines, believe it or not, and that's, I prefer all wines usually. Ten is completely different in style, which is great honestly, because you cannot get confused between the two vintages. We had a very dry summer, so the drought is the main characteristic of the vintage. We had two inches of rain, for the whole summer, which is almost nothing for Bordeaux. Sometimes we get uh, 5, 10 inches of rain. I remember even in 92 we got 15 inches of rain, you see. So, 2 inches is really a very tiny amount of rain. And the consequence of that, uh, of that drought uh, is that the berries were very small. So we had a low yield, which is one point. But more important, when you have uh, small berries, the amount of skin compared to the amount of juice is very high. And this is why with such small berries, you get wines with a lot of structure, a lot of tannins. And the danger of uh, the vintage, and I can develop that if you wish, was to have over-extracted wines with too much tannin. Otherwise, if you were uh, careful with that danger, you could make a great vintage, you know, uh, which means powerful, structured, uh, a little uh, uh, harder clearly than the 09, but uh, a vintage for a long life. Probably not as enjoyable in its youth uh, as 09, but very impressive wines, as you tested. Yes. Um, what are the difference between, the main difference between uh, Pomerol and Saint-Emilion now in 2010? Well, probably I would say that uh, in 09, Saint-Emilion had to struggle because we had some hell storms in Saint-Emilion and we made a good vintage, but probably in 09, clearly Pomerol was more successful than Saint-Emilion. In 10, we had the kind of perfect weather in Saint-Emilion because if you consider that Saint-Emilion has a lime soil, in the lime, you know, the roots are able to penetrate to the lime and the lime keeps the moisture so that Saint-Emilion did not suffer from the, the drought. A drought, as I said, is a good thing because it provokes a stress to the vine, but like any good thing, if you abuse of a good thing, then you run in trouble. And in Saint-Emilion, the, the, because of that lime or that chalk, uh, uh, the, the, the vines did not suffer. So we were able to pick later, there was less stress, and the wines have, I think, in Saint-Emilion, maybe a better equilibrium than in Pomerol. In Pomerol, on the gravelly soils, um, it is clear that the vines suffered, sometimes suffered a little too, uh, a little too much, and the danger was to have wines uh, uh, which would be a little dry, a little, uh, a little hard, you know. So the only way to correct modern nature was to have a short period of fermentation, uh, less extraction. That was the key word for, for the vintage in general, but especially for Pomerol. Thank you. Thank you.